list of new cities being built in Africa. Africa is experiencing an era of compelling new city building. There have been many entirely new cities being built in Africa. Countries on this continent are spending billions of dollars developing new smart cities from scratch. The new metropolitan environments will be urban organizations that will be well-planned, constructed in giant waves of development, become economic drivers of the countries, have social identities, and even have their respective governance structures. The need to build new cities from scratch comes from the fact that the world's urban population will exceed 6 billion by 2045, per the UN. Much of that estimated growth will be in developing countries, especially in Africa. Thus, Africa is building new cities early to try and address the many challenges of satisfying the need of a growing urban population. Smart cities will try to solve the challenges of housing, transportation, employment, energy, infrastructure, and essential human services like healthcare and education. But what are these new cities being built in Africa? Welcome to another one of my exciting videos. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the subscribe button. In this video, I will give you the plan, construction progress, and completion date of the top 7 new cities being built in Africa. Here is a list of new cities that are currently in construction in Africa. 1. Al Nur City Djibouti. Al Nur City is a pair of twin cities linking Africa and Asia. The plan involves building a transcontinental bridge over the Red Sea, known as the Bridge of the Horns. According to the proposals, the two planned cities will be made on either end of the bridge, one in Djibouti and the other in Yemen. The new town will have a deep water port equipped with state-of-the-art container terminals, a mass transit system, and a network of transient trade facilities. The vital part of the plan is to connect the two cities with a bridge named the Bridge of the Horns, spanning the southern mouth of the Red Sea. The twin cities will run on renewable energy. The developers state that they expect Nur City to have 2.5 million residents by 2025, and the Yemeni twin city to have 4.5 million residents. They envision a new airport serving both towns at a capacity of 100 million passengers annually. A new highway connecting the cities to Dubai is proposed. Although construction of the smart metropolis had begun, phase one was later delayed in 2010 so that the governments of Djibouti and Yemen could sign a framework agreement. 2. City of Kigali, Rwanda. A city of Kigali is one of the many African smart cities proposed for completion by 2040. It is a new city aimed at being more inclusive by facilitating a higher degree of economic and social inclusion. It will also favor large and small investors and facilitate the creation of affordable housing solutions to support the growth of a well-balanced and healthy community. Rwanda will implement the proposed city in five phases. Each phase will have a specific development activity and generate over 1 million jobs until its completion. Key improvements in the recently updated master plan for the city of Kigali are the flexible zoning plan, which saw the review of the regulations behind each zone by shrinking the number of commercial zones from 9 to 3 and the number of residential zones from 7 to 5. This master plan also focused on mixed use developments in the city center, which is largely mono use today. It is mainly dominated by office developments and retail business. Beyond the CBD, the city will also encourage private developers and building owners to consider regenerating their existing buildings, especially the older ones. This new concept has a population projection now at 3.8 million, a household size of 3.8, a gross density of 51.98 per square kilometer, and an employment projection of 1.8 meters jobs. This updated Kigali Master Plan 2050 is an upgrade to the 2013 version. It will lead Kigali's economic and social growth for the next 30 years. 3. Diamniadio Lake City, Senegal. All smart city components are implemented in Africa. Senegal has moved ahead with the construction of the Diamniadio Lake City. It is a township conceived to ease the commercial and residential burden of the country's capital, Dakar. Senegal came up with the idea of building Diamniadio City to not only help reduce the population pressure of Dakar, but also have several educational, financial, and transport hubs. The project had an estimated budget of $2 billion. The project attracted a lot of bids from local and international companies, including Germany's state-owned KFW Development Bank, ultimately won by the Seamer Investment Group. The developers are working with the Senegalese government and other companies for successful completion. The project will extend over an area of 1644 hectares. The Diamniadio Lake City will contain residential areas and business districts to accommodate hotels, fashion centers, Abdu Diouf International Conference Area, Dakar Arena for Sports, Research Centers, Exposition Centers, Government Ministries, Universities, and other entertainment areas. On completion, the new city will be connected to Dakar through a 32 km express highway, reducing the travel time from 90 minutes to an average of 30 minutes. The first regional electric express train, the Train Express Regional, TUR, is scheduled to launch in the first quarter of 2019. 
The project will be built in phases, with completion within 10 years. Construction has been ongoing, and developers expect to complete it by 2035. So far, 80% of the project has been completed. 4. Eco Atlantic City, Nigeria. Eco Atlantic City is a planned city in Lagos, Nigeria, set to become the country's international commerce city. The idea behind Eco Atlantic Nigeria's smart city is to help meet the needs of commercial and financial hubs. It will also have many residential and tourist accommodations, modern infrastructure, and adhere to environmental standards. The city's proposed plan will provide residents with a robust water system, security, transport, and waste management. As one of Africa's many cities built from scratch, it will have independent energy sources. Construction on the 10 million square kilometers of land has been ongoing, with milestones being made. Upon completion, the city will be home to over 300,000 residents. As of May 2009, while the project was still dredging, about 3 million cubic meters had been sand filled and placed in the reclamation area. About 35,000 tons of rock had been delivered to the site. In certain parts of Bar Beach, the land being reclaimed can already be seen. Dredgers are working around the clock to fill the place with sand. By November 2020, a few buildings, most notably Eco Pearl Towers, have been completed, with several more under construction and at the planning stages. The city has become an active venue for popular Afro concerts and sports events like the Lego City Marathon and Copa Lagos. 5. Kanza Techno City, Kenya. The Kanza Techno City, Kenya, also known as the Kanza Technopolis, is a flagship project of the government of Kenya's Vision 2030. It aims to attract business process outsourcing, data centers, software development, call centers, light assembly manufacturing industries, and disaster recovery centers. As a smart city, Kanza will integrate a network of intelligent devices and sensors in the urban environment, roads, and buildings. Kanza's residents will also have direct access to the collected data, such as traffic maps, emergency warnings, and detailed information describing energy and water consumption. Located 64 kilometers south of Nairobi, the city will be a technological hub. It will provide an enabling environment for scientific research. One of the biggest challenges of building cities in Africa has been funding. That has been the case with Kanza City. The estimated cost of the project is $14.5 billion. So far, only $800 million has been committed, according to the project's main website. However, construction is ongoing, albeit slower than expected. 6. New Administrative Capital, Wedian Egypt. The Wedian City, or the New Administrative Capital, NAC, is a large-scale project under construction in Egypt. It is one of Egypt's most extensive development plans to become its new financial and administrative capital. NAC will house government ministries, departments, and foreign embassies. Building new cities in Egypt, especially in Cairo, is to ease congestion in the capital. Today, Cairo is one of the most populated cities in the world, with an estimated population of 20 million people. Upon completion, Wedian will be home to 6.5 million people. The city is planned to consist of a cultural district, a central business district, and 21 residential communities. The city will also have a central park, artificial lakes, about 2,000 educational institutions, a technology and innovation park, 663 hospitals and clinics, 1,250 mosques and churches, a 90,000-seat stadium, 40,000 hotel rooms, a significant theme park four times the size of Disneyland. 90 square kilometers of solar energy farms, an electric railway link with Cairo and a new international airport. The total cost and timescale for the overall project have not been disclosed. The first government officials were moved into their new offices in 2019. Already constructed notable buildings include the Cathedral of the Nativity of Christ and al fatah al Ali Mosque, Skyscrapers Capital Park, an urban park aiming to be double the size of New York Central Park, the Octagon, which is Egypt's new Ministry of Defense headquarters and the Capital International Airport. For Egypt's new capital, intended to relieve pressure on Cairo International Airport, serving Cairo, and the Sphinx International Airport, near the Giza Pyramids, serving Giza, and a new administrative capital stadium, with an expected capacity of over 93,000 people. It will be the largest stadium in Egypt and the second largest in Africa, and is expected to replace the Cairo International Stadium as the new national stadium. It will be part of a larger Olympic sports complex. 7. Tadu City, Kenya. Tadu City is an ongoing project in Kenya. It is one of the many new cities developed in Africa and built on 5,000 pieces of land. Upon completion, the project will be home to over 150,000 residents and accommodate thousands of visitors daily. The city will boast homes, commercial spaces, schools, entertainment complexes, and a shopping district. Construction of the city has been moving at a rapid pace. Business complexes and schools are already open. 
As of 2022, the Tadu City Zone was home to more than 60 business entities and two international schools. The city was, as of 2022, also home to various completed, ongoing, and proposed housing projects. For instance, some companies with a presence in the Tadu City Industrial Park by 2022 included Dormans, Unilever, Davis and Shirtliff, Coopers, Gallagher, Tianlong, and Kim Fei. The developers are also working fast to complete residential buildings and a road network that connects the city with that Kenya's capital, Nairobi. Conclusion. Some of the new cities being built in Africa will introduce new economic hubs and spur development in their respective countries. Africa also deems it necessary to develop new cities to help solve the challenges of overpopulation in current urban environments. Although some countries are making progress, the biggest challenge has been funding. Estimates show that by 2040, most of the proposed plans will be ready, especially in countries like Nigeria, Egypt and Senegal, which have made much progress. There you have it. If you love the content, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, hitting the notification button and commenting. Thank you. Have a good day or a good night.